Hey there everybody, this is Braden here for GSHelper.com and this is part 2 in how to set up your in-app purchases in uh, GameSalad. In the last video we created two uh, in-app purchase uh, IDs and set it all up in iTunes Connect. We created a consumable and a non-consumable item. Uh, so that's all we need to do in iTunes Connect right now. So let's go ahead and open Game Solid. And I've opened Game Solid, new project. Uh, you'll open your project and you'll go to tables and let's create a table. And we'll call this TB uh, IAP for in app purchase. And uh, we're going to need two rows because we have two in app purchases. If you have 15, then you'll create 15 rows. Uh, and we're going to name this row. Uh, the product ID and we're gonna make this a text uh, row here and we're gonna need two columns and we'll create this a uh, integer and uh, we'll just name it uh, amount alright so in these uh, uh, cells here we can go ahead and put in our product ID um, and it needs to be exactly the same as you see here as you set it up in iTunes Connect. So 100 coins. So we'll go ahead and do that. 100 coins. Now we want to increase the coins uh, by 100 each time they purchase this. So we're going to put in 100 for the amount in the second column. And uh, so that's the consumable in app purchase ID and uh, amount right here. So let's get the non-consumable, and that is unlock game two. So we'll go ahead and put that in, unlock game two. And since we're not adding to anything, let's just keep this at zero. Um, because it is really important to make sure that you have these exactly the same as you have them set up in iTunes Connect, uh, you can actually go ahead and click on it. Uh, let me go ahead and log back in. And I'll have to go back here. Alright, manage in-app purchases. Alright, so you can actually click on your in-app purchase and just go ahead and copy this and then paste it into Game Salad. That way you know you have the correct one. Um, just to be safe. Alright, so we're done with our table. We need to go back and create a scene. Um, so let's call this uh, in-app purchase. This will be your in-app purchase scene and we'll need to create a couple attributes. We'll need to create a uh, integer attribute and we'll name this coins and uh, to start out let's give them uh, 25 coins and uh, we're gonna create another one and it's gonna be a boolean and we're gonna name this unlock uh, let's just do unlock levels and let's keep that to false for now Alright, so let's go ahead and add a couple uh, actors. Let's create two, one for each in-app purchase. Uh, the first one we'll call coins, and the second one we'll call um, unlock all. And let's just go ahead, well, let's not give it a color now. Uh, go back into the coins actor, oops. And we're gonna go ahead and create a rule. And we're gonna say when touch is pressed, we're gonna go into our pro tab, and we're going to drag in the in-app purchase item behavior and we need to uh, input the product ID so we're going to go ahead and open the expression editor and we're going to go table cell value and for table we're going to put our table for row we're going to put one and for column we're going to put one because that is where our product ID for this in-app purchase is located and then we're going to select which attribute to change game.coins and since this is consumable we need to make sure that this is checked so we can change it to something and so we need to change game.coins to game.coins plus table cell value and I'll just scroll over because you can't see it it's really long table cell value and we'll select our table row 1 column 2 
all right and that is where our uh, amount is 100 uh, and you can go ahead and select uh, or create success cancel and error scenes and just go ahead and fill these in from the drop down menu uh, if you do succeed this is what's going to happen they'll press purchase it'll ask them to input their password and uh, if everything goes according to plan it'll take them to a scene that says thank you for purchasing uh, you just got X amount of you know coins or, or rations or whatever you want to give them uh, that fits your game and then you'll just have a button that goes back home um, an error scene you know pretty much same thing you can figure it out I'm just not gonna do it uh, for this demo but I am going to uh, I'm going to actually dis display the coins attribute uh, just so we can See that, see that happen. Uh, we'll, just uh, we'll just display, display coins. coins. All right. All right. Uh, and, uh, and then we're gonna back, we're gonna back out, out and go into the unlock, unlock all actor. actor. And it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty much, much the same thing. thing. We're gonna say we're gonna say when touch is pressed. Press. We're gonna go we're gonna to go to pro tab, drag in drag in the in that purchase item, and we and need to grab the product ID. Table so value value table table put in put in our table. For row, row, row two, 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 this is our second, our second in purchase, purchase, and for column, and for column we'll input one. one. Now this is now not this is a not consumable, consumable item. item, so we're going to make sure that this is this not, is not checked. checked. And we're going to go ahead and go change, change the unlock, the unlock level, level, and this will automatically unlock it to or, uh, change, or, uh, change it to true. true. And again, and again, set up your set up success, success, and error scenes. But I am, I am. So this, I'm going to create a rule. Create a rule that says, create a rule that says that when, uh, uh, game, game unlock on levels, levels is true. Is true. I'm just going to make this actor purple, 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 so we can so see, we can see uh, it. Uh, the change uh, happens. So I'm going to go self, self, color, color, green, green to zero. Now you won't do this. You'll create, create one that you're controlling actor that unlocks all of the levels when this is true. true. Um, if it's an if unlock, it's an unlock, you know, levels, you know, levels, uh, in that uh, purchase, it might be something else. Something else. Uh, uh, you decide, decide. decide. So, so. Uh, let's go uh, ahead let's and go drag, these drag these onto the onto scene. The scene. All right, all right. And we'll go ahead and press preview. Press preview. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and change this to this black really black quick because it's, it's, it's white right now on a white actor, and that's not the best thing. Just so we can see it better. All right. So we'll go ahead and touch the first one. And uh, in-app purchases are not supported in the viewer, but this is when uh, 100 coins would be purchased. Um, so when you're doing an ad hoc test, this is when you know the Apple box would pop up and would say, "Would you want to purchase this?" And you, you know, say, "Agree, cancel, uh, whichever." And so uh, the viewer does actually give you uh, some options here. So let's go ahead and click success, and uh, it added 100 to our coin amount. And you can keep buying and keep buying. Uh, failure won't do anything because I didn't set anything up for that. Uh, cancel, same thing. So we know this one works. Let's go to the next one, the unlock levels, and we'll go ahead and tap it. And uh, we'll go ahead and succeed. And it did turn purple, so we know that that in-app purchase did work. All right, let's go ahead and back out of there. Now we do need to create um, a button that will uh, restore... Uh, non-consumable in-app purchases so if a user downloads your game and they uh, decide to uninstall it for some odd reason or they have to um, get a new iPhone but they really like your game they want to install it again uh, that new device will not remember that they purchased this and uh, even though that they could still go ahead and click this and even go ahead and buy it again. Uh, Apple won't let them. It'll say, "Oh, you've already purchased this, and would you like to download this for free?" And you know, you can say sure, um, but they will not allow this to go through testing if you do not have a restore in-app purchase button somewhere on the scene. Uh, so that's what we need to make. And all it does is really, uh, you, you press a ask for your password, and it'll just download anything that is non-consumable. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new actor, and uh, I'll call it Restore. And let's give it a quick color. And um, we need to create a rule. When touch is pressed, we're going to go into the Pro tab. 
in that purchase restore item we're gonna drag that in all right so the product ID uh, very similar to what we did with the actual in-app purchases so we'll just go and select table cell value for table we'll go ahead and select our table for row because this is our second in that purchase we'll do uh, row 2 and um, column 1 because this is the product ID and uh, we're gonna change the attributes oh, you can't see it went on my other monitor uh, it's game unlock levels um, and so that just downloads it again they'll ask you for the password for your uh, account and you can go ahead and download that again uh, you'll see this little plus sign here uh, if you have multiple um, non-consumable items you can just go ahead and uh, add all those into one so you don't have a bunch of buttons and um, of course then you'll want to make sure to save to uh, to save all these values uh, when you're done purchasing them um, but that is pretty much it I hope this was helpful um, this was requested by a user on the forums and uh, we were happy to do it if y'all have anything that uh, you'd like to see done next, be sure to uh, send us an email at uh, sales at gshelper.com. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.